I'm Charles Coburn. I've got a secret. Do you think you can guess what it is? Arid Cream Deodorant and the new Vanishing Cream Deodorant, Arid with non-staining chlorophyll, present I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you. Thanks very much. And I've Got a Secret, this is the name of the show, I've Got a Secret. Again, we are back with you after two weeks. Hope that you have enjoyed the vacation. Hope you're back with us now. We have a Snoopy sort of a game here in this I've Got a Secret, a game in which we reveal the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight we have information about the private lives of some interesting folk, which they're going to try to keep secret from our panel. But first, I would like you to meet our panel. First, Bill Cullen, who is intelligent. <laughs> then Jane Meadows, who is intelligent and beautiful. Then Henry Morgan, who is intelligent, beautiful, and carefree. And finally, Lorraine Day, who is intelligent, beautiful, carefree, and Mrs. Leo DeRocher. That is our fact. <laughs> by the by, a small message has just been sent me by Carrier Field Miles here. We want to welcome another station to our family. Station Kagugultov. Kagugultov. KGUL-TV in Galveston, <laughs> Texas, is seeing I've Got a Secret Tonight live for the first time. And we're mighty proud, mighty proud. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman with tonight's first... <laughs> all right, family, you all set to play I've Got a Secret? <laughs> all right, let's play I've Got sure. a Secret with chlorophyll added, huh? Here is our first contestant of the evening. Will you come in, sir? Good evening. Nice to see you, sir. Would you tell the panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Yes, I'm Joseph R. Davis, and I'm from Whitestone, Long Island. All right, now, panel, it's going to be up to you to uncover Mr. Davis' secret. Here is how we play the game. Each panelist will be given two questioning periods of 15 seconds each, but the clock will only time the actual questions. That is to say, we take time out for audience reaction, if any, and for discussion, if necessary. When a panelist's time is up, he will hear this sound. <laughs> And I will pay our guest $10 and turn the game over to the next panelist. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and the game is over. Now, Mr. Davis, folks out there waiting to hear what your secret is, so why don't you whisper it to me, sir? <laughs> hey, that's a snappy one, isn't it? To help classify this secret, I will tell you it concerns something that he gave away, I guess that's the best way to phrase it, and we'll start our questioning with Mr. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, Mr. Davis, this thing that you gave away, was it a, uh, tangible thing? Mm, yeah. yeah, I guess it was. Definitely. Was it edible? Audible. <laughs> Did you give this thing away because you were tired of using it? <laughs> no. That isn't the reason you gave it away, huh? No. Might, uh, might I find, uh, this in, uh, the home? Yes, I guess it would. Would it be possible for me to find one or more of these in my home? Yes, I guess you would. Uh, might I be apt to come in contact with the one in my home at least once a day or so? <laughs> well, it depends. It, it's, it's, it's possible, certainly. Uh, if I... There is $10 down and $70 to go, Miss Jane Meadows, please. Mr. Davis, you say that you might find these things in a home. Might you also find them in a furniture store? Yes. Yes? Yes. Are they comfortable to sit on? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I... They are. Are they... Are some of these things ever overstuffed? <laughs> Yes, they are. Yes? Yes? Might I be sitting on one of these right now? Yes. Yes, I guess. I might. Yes. Uh, is this thing by any chance something that a practical joker might try to pull out from under me as I went to sit down? What is this thing? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I think... Oh, I wish I were dead. <laughs> I think it's hardly likely. It's hardly likely, Miss Meadows. Twenty dollars down and sixty dollars to go. <laughs> Mr. Henry Morgan has little faith in this whole thing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's beginning to sound a little dubious. This is a, you gave away an overstuffed thing that could be sat on and found in a furniture store in, in, in Cullen's house. No. Did you give it away because you were tired of it? No. Uh, did, the, did you give it to a person? Yes. Did the person enjoy getting it? Yes. Uh, had you had it around for a long time before you gave it away? Well, no, not too long. Was it something you bought to give away or something that you owned at the time or? No. Well, it was something, it was something that was bought to be given away. He personally didn't buy it. Oh, do we want to find out who you gave it to? Would help you have to know that, yes. Me? Did you get it to, um, somebody well known, obviously? No. 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 <laughs> There's $30 down and $50 to go, Miss Lorraine Day. This thing that you gave away, was it part of your job to do this? Yes. It was part of your job. Did you only give this one thing away, or do you give more things away like this? Oh, gave lots of things away. But uh, there he are a lot many, of this he, one particular thing that he you gave. He gave many away. of this particular article away, yes. And is it a large article? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes and no. Uh, uh, it can be uh, different sizes. It can be different right? sizes, yes. It can be yes, different almost sizes. Almost has to be. Yeah. Uh, it isn't human, is it? No. No. It's something we can sit on, and it can be pulled out from under it. Well, does it cost anything? Yes. yes. It yes. does cost something, and you give it away as an advertising scheme or something like that? No. You don't give it away just out of the goodness of your heart, do you? <laughs> <laughs> out of a sense of duty, I might say. $40 down and $40 to go, panel. Each of you have one more crack at Mr. Davis, Mr. Bill Cullen. Uh, this thing that you gave away, is it inanimate? Yes. Is it an article of apparel? Yes. Is it worn by one sex more than the other? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll try uh, female. That's a horrible look has just come over Miss Meadows' face. She's <laughs> remembering what she had. <laughs> is yes, this, female is right. Is this thing uh, what is sometimes called in polite circles a, a uh, girdle? <laughs> yes. Now, that's part of the secret. The gentleman, Mr. Davis, gave away girdles. You must find out to whom he oh, gave them. Oh, stopped. I just get... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, did you give this girdle away uh, to uh, a lady, of course, or ladies? Yes. Uh, it's already been established that it was not... It was not this girdle, it was these girdles. Oh, these girdles. Yeah, $50 <laughs> down and $30 to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Well, now, uh, what we want, we know that you gave away girdles. Do we want who you gave them to? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it one particular woman? No. Groups of women. Uh, yes. Would they be buyers in stores? No. Would they be uh, a group of women? Mm -hmm. Like a college? Would it be a group of girls in a college? Well, not in a college, it's a group. Mm -hmm. It's a group of girls. Young girls? Oh, some of them? Yeah. Young girls. The older ones got more than the younger ones. <laughs> $60 down, $20 to go, Mr. Henry Morgan, please. These uh, girls, were they associated in, in, in a, a society that they were members of? Yes. Uh, well, uh, they were members of an, an organized group. You and wouldn't they, call yeah. it a society. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was it a political group? No. Social? No. Uh, what else do girls do together? Uh, <laughs> uh, a group. Uh, would, I, would I care where? What city? No, no, I don't think the city would help me. There's seventy dollars down and ten dollars to go. This is the panel's last chance. Miss Day, on this your triumphant return to the show, let's see how you do. Well, I can get rained out tonight too. <laughs> Tell me, uh, would you be giving girdles away to actresses? No. To anyone in show business? No. To models? No. And you give them away free? To Mrs. Uh, Eisenhower? It's <laughs> <laughs> a rather interesting thought. I don't know how you arrived at it, but it did. Well, you have to give them to somebody. Yeah, but <laughs> they usually to say. Might as well start with the first lady, huh? I, you have stumped group. the panel, Mr. Davis. Will you tell them what your secret is, please? Yes, I issued girdles to wax in World War II. Oh. 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 Well, Gary, no yes. wonder we didn't know. That was a top secret for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly top. He was running a quiz show where he gave away girdles. It was called Take It or... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Would you tell our panel what your name is, please, sir, and where you're from? Father Robert Green. I am from uh, Indiana. Father Green from Indiana. All right, now, panel, remember how we play twice around and you have lost the game. Now, Father uh, Green, if you'll remind me of your secret, we'll let the folks out there know what it is. I think, uh, Jane, we'll start with you on this one. To help classify this secret, I will tell you it concerns something that happened to Father Green. Something that happened to Father mm -hmm. Green. Did this, would it help me to know, Father Green, what period in your life this happened? How old you were? It would help you. It would. Were you very young when it happened? Would you be, say, 21 or less? Over. Over 21. Would it have been in the last uh, 10 or 15 years? It would. It would. Was it very recent? Was How do you find very, define very recently? Well, let's say in the last six months. No, it wasn't that recently. It wasn't. Ten dollars down, seventy dollars to go, Mr. Henry Morgan, please. This thing that happened to your father, was it something good? It was not. <laughs> was it something uh, that happened to you physically? Physically? Partly? Partly. Was it during the war? During uh, which war? Well, let's say a war. <laughs> a war? During a war? Yes, it was it during, was during a war. Uh, Were a... you a chaplain? I was. And did this happen while you were, were you army chaplain? It didn't happen while I was chaplain doing chaplain work. No. Uh... There's $20 down and $60 to go, Miss Lorraine Day, please. Uh, were you in this country when this happened? I was not. Were you in Korea? I was when not in Korea when it happened. Uh, were you in Russia? No, I was not. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with uh, the Korean War? Well, I oh. would, I'd know. It didn't, mine had nothing to do with the Korean War. Were you on land when this happened? I was on land when it happened. Were you in Europe? I was not in Europe when it happened. Were you um, in South America? <laughs> No, I was not. <laughs> we have only 80 countries left. $30 down and $50 to go. Mr. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, Father, this thing that happened to you, was it a physical thing? It was physical. He did that. And he said it also had its mental aspects. It was yeah. largely physical, however. Well, what I want to... Uh, actually, how I meant to phrase it was, did, did this thing injure you? Were you injured in some way in, by any... Well, I could say that there was suffering. Suffering. I mean, there wasn't a, I don't think there was a real permanent injury. There was some little permanent injury, yes. There was no, there was no right. sudden, definable injury. However, uh, there was, things happened that were detrimental to his health. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to uh, look once again for the location. Was uh, this by any chance in Asia? Was it was in Asia. <sighs> That's something I got. Anyway, uh, was it in, uh, let me see what part of Asia I'm going to go to now. And almost all the oh, looks like you're gonna have to stay home. There's forty dollars yeah. down and forty dollars to go. This is the panel's last chance around this Jane Meadows. Please. Father, were you by any chance a prisoner of war? I was not a prisoner of war. Were you captured and or or were you uh, attacked by the enemy? Is that part of the secret? Well, which I call them the enemy. And which of those uh -huh. questions you say were you well, attacked? Well, were, were you captured? were you in China when this happened by any chance? I was in China. Were you a missionary in China? I was a missionary in China. And were you in some way uh, either, uh, uh, what I mean by attacked, were you taken a prisoner by the communists or were you... That's precisely... <laughs> that is it. As a matter of fact, Father Green was a prisoner of the Chinese Reds. He was 18 months in, uh, in prison, wasn't he, Father Green? That's right. And how, how much of that time was in solitary? 52 weeks in solitary confinement. And will you tell us what happened to your last Palm Sunday, a year ago, this past Palm Sunday? Well, Palm Sunday, I had the first trial, public trial, after eight days and eight nights of interrogation. And then Easter Sunday, I had the big people's court. And on that day, well, I was actually, they con well, they condemned me to be beheaded. But the next day, they were thinking all along, that, and I was wondering at times that the mind was going, and then they gave me these reasons why they were going to the mercy of uh, their great leader, Mao Zedong. They were going to change my sentence from execution to expulsion. And 
That was a lot of difference, too, you know? In other words, what they did was they trumped up a lot of charges against you and then uh, pardoned you and said, in effect, to the world, look what, a, look what generous people we are for pardoning this man. Huh? That's right. They pardoned me through a number of the large cities in China, through the streets with armed guards and, and this man. They said I wasn't a priest and through so forth, an American spy, and I had murdered people, murdered, and they had all the charges. Well, you can read this in more in fascinating detail, as a matter of fact, in a new book that's come out called Calvary in China, written by Father Green, and I recommend it to you for your reading if you want to understand the communist mind. That is a book for you to read. Father Green, it's been a great pleasure to have you with us, sir. Good night and thank you. Well, now, my friends, we're just looking at uh, Father Green's book, Calvary in China. Now it is time to have our panel go to work on tonight's special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's most beloved actors and currently starring in a fine new picture called Trouble Along the Way, here is Mr. Charles Coburn. <laughs> All right, now, panel, you know how we play the game? Let's see how quickly we can expose Mr. Coburn's secret. We'll play the game as before, except that the money in this case will go to Mr. Coburn's favorite charity. Sir, if you will whisper your secret to me, the folks out there would like to know what it is. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how I envy you. We will start the questioning with Mr. Henry Morgan, and I will only tell you it concerns something, Henry, that he is going to do. Well, why does he have to leer at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Coburn, this thing you're going to do, is it uh, going to uh, help your career? Is it, is it going to help your career? Oh, not very much. Are you going to make any money out of it? I don't think so. Is it, uh, something you look forward to doing? Oh, yes. <laughs> Does it concern somebody else? Does it concern uh, another person, your secret? Is, is that part of it? Several others. You're going to do something with or for, uh, other people? Yes. Uh, are uh, they men Excuse me, sir, I would not say it was either with or for. Well, say it concerns other people, but it's neither with nor for. Would you agree, sir? All right, there's $10 down and $70 to go, Miss Lorraine Day, please. Mr. Coburn, is this uh, thing that you're going to do, is it going to be done to some other people? Something you're going to do to them? That's right, something's going to be done to somebody. Yes. Uh, to other people. You just finished a picture with two very beautiful and famous young ladies. Uh, Miss Marilyn Monroe and Miss Jane Russell. Does your secret have anything that you're going to do with or to them? No. Ah, well, does it have anything to I do... I would like to, but I'm not. <laughs> does it have something to do with ladies? Huh? With ladies? Partially. That you're going oh, to do yeah. two ladies? <laughs> Partially with ladies. $20 down and $60 to go. Mr. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, during this, these last two sets of questions, I have had a horrible thought. Uh... The, the part, the uh, feminine part of the people to whom you are going to do this, uh, would they be Miss Meadows and Miss Day by any chance? Yes. And the be, masculine yes. counterpart, could it possibly be Henry and myself? Yes. Is it all right if I leave? <laughs> I... Is this something that we're not going to enjoy in the strictest sense of the word? No, I think you'll enjoy it. You're not going to issue us all girdles, are you, Mr. Coburn? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this a physical thing you're going to do to the panel? In a way, yes. Oh, I'm terribly weak for this sort of thing. <laughs> uh, are you going to do something that, uh... I'm not going to kiss all of you. <laughs> I bet I can guess the two you are going to kiss, if you <laughs> There's $30 down and $50 to go, Miss Jane Mr. Meadows. Mr. Coburn, are you going to do the same thing to the boys that you're going to do to us? Yes. Oh. You are. Lucky other. Is it going to be a nice thing that you're going to do? Well, it'll be nice from my point of view. <laughs> Will it be nice from our point of view? I'm not so sure. 
And it'll be a physical thing, will it? Huh? Will it be a very physical thing? Yeah, I would say it's physical as opposed to mental. It's largely physical. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Collins started to take his glasses off. It's not going to be that bad. Oh, right. You don't have to exercise your mentality. You don't. Are you going to give us something physical? Oh, yes. <laughs> There's $40 down That's and $40 great. to go. Final, this is your last time around. <laughs> Henry Morgan looking very delighted at this present he's going to receive. Our, uh, it's not money, is it? <laughs> no. no. I'd be out of character for the whole... Uh, this thing you're going to give us, uh, are we going to take it away from here with us? Part of it. <laughs> I hope. Is it edible? No. Is it? No, no, I wouldn't say Oh, now she knows, you see. It's too late. She's got to wait her turn. There's $50 down and $30 to go, Miss Lorraine Day, please. Mr. Coburn, does it require your getting up from that chair to do whatever you're going to do to us? Not necessarily. I might get up, but it doesn't necessarily require... You, you, you can do it from over there. It wouldn't yes. be something like giving us a hard time with it or stumping us or confusing us, something like that. No, no, nothing it like actually that. actually means that he's going to do something physical. That's right. Are you going to use your hands to do this? Yes, one hand. One hand? <laughs> Are you going to shake hands with us? Well, I might use both hands. You're what? I might have to use two hands. You might. <laughs> no, I think you can do it one-handed, sir, but it isn't... It isn't shaking hands. How much time have we got? Does anybody know? $60 down, $20. We only got one minute. Panel, I want plenty of time for this. I am going to surrender the complete $80 to Mr. Coburn. Can I guess? Yes, you can take Is one. Is it an object? It's an object. Are we going to get a monocle? <laughs> no, but I'll say this, that you're going to get something you can put in your eye. <laughs> Mr. Coburn, will you tell the panel what it is that you're going to do? Well, I'll show them what it is. So. Yeah. Well, will you take very careful... Shall we do it? <laughs> 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 what? Why is it that an audience always enjoys somebody else's discomfort? <laughs> Just for that. <laughs> and I've got another one down here. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for tonight's guests and their secrets. In just a moment, I will tell you about the famous celebrity who is going to be third degree by our panel on our next show. Well, now, friends, just about time for us to fold up shop for tonight. We would like to remind you in closing that the American Cancer Society is holding its annual drive. We ask you please to contribute. Contribute for others. Contribute as well for yourself. Remember that cancer strikes one out of five. You may send your contributions to cancer. Simply cancer, care of your local post office. Now, then, two weeks from tonight at the usual time, our panel will do their best to discover the secret which is being kept by, who do you think, Mr. Leo DeRocher will be our guest next week. And there will be other interesting people to challenge our experts with their secrets. Until that time, may I say goodnight to our panel, Mr. Bill Cullen, Miss Jane Meadows, Mr. Henry Morgan, Miss Lorraine Day. Until we all meet here, then two weeks from now, this will be Gary Moore saying bye-bye for the whole gang. Be very kind to each other, will you? And goodbye out there. And... <laughs> We're we'll again two weeks from tonight for I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. Jane Meadows' fur cape is by Post Fur.